Hello Aries and I hope you are having a beautiful 2018 so far. I am going to be doing your year in review for general and um, love. For some reason my cards don't want to shuffle. Could be operator air. I don't know. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this doesn't resonate with you, which it will not resonate with everyone due to it being a general reading, um, I encourage you to check out your other signs, um, and hopefully one of those will resonate with you. Um, I do encourage you to check out all your signs anyways, just because um, you are a combination of them all. It's just the majority of us are a predominant sun sign um, and moon sign, but I do encourage you to check them all. So Aries. Let's get started. I'm going to pull 12 cards, one for each month, and then I'm going to pull a uh, love card as well for each month, and then we will do an overview at the end of the reading. So, Spirit and Angels, I ask you for 12 cards for our Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the year of 2018, each card representing one uh, month out of the year. Um, and I ask this to be a general card in regards to all areas of their life except for love. And I will then ask for 12 cards from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Okay, Spirit. Here we go. Spirit saying we're ready, Aries. So in January, you have the Seven of Cups. February, the Queen of Swords. March, the Page of Swords. April, the Five of Pentacles. May, Temperance. June, the Five of Swords. July, the Chariot. August, the Lovers in Reverse. September, the Six of Wands. October, Judgment in Reverse. November, the Seven of Wands. And December of 2018, the Ace of Swords in Reverse. Um, the overall energy of the year is the Eight of Cups in reverse. So wherever you're at right now, I see you staying put there for a while. Spirit and Angels, I ask for a card in regards to love. Now one card for each month, please. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the year of 2018. Okay. Right. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that was easy. Right where I cut, there was a card flipped up. So in January, you have the world. Cycles are coming to an end, starting the year fresh. Let's see if I can turn that a little bit. There we go. In February, you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. March is the Two of Cups. April, the Four of Pentacles. May, the Seven of Cups in reverse. June, the Knight of Swords, or the Page of Swords, I'm sorry. Um, July, the Four of Cups in reverse. August, the King of Swords in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse for September. Queen of Wands, a lot of fire energy, Aries. This must be you. Judgment in reverse. Um, or I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands for October. November, you have the Queen of Swords in reverse. And December, you have the King of Wands in reverse. Your bottom of the deck of the love cards is the... Page of Pentacles. So your overall, um, your overall outlook for the year in love is um, a very young, youthful energy, fun, um, nothing serious, Aries. Okay. So um, in January, a lot of you guys may be feeling confused right now. You have a lot of options on um, where you want to put your emotional energy. Um, for a group of you, this is you leaving a job. You have lots of options on where you want to, um, where you want to work. But what spirit is telling me is you are going to follow your dreams as far as a job goes. So that is amazing. In love, you have the world cycles are ending. Um, it's come full circle. It's time to move on and you're going to start fresh and new, um, in the area of love in January great start to the year guys 
February, you have the Queen of Swords. So um, you're going to take an approach in life where you um, you don't get too emotionally involved in anything. You are just more worried about um, seeking truth, living your own truth, and just worried about um, getting people out of your life that no longer serve your greatest good. In love, you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So you're, you're waiting on an earth sign, Aries. Um, and of course, they're moving slow. Um, you kind of have your eye on them. And um, in March, I see them coming. So <laughs> in March, you have the Page of Swords. So again, um, really focusing on only having people in your life that have your best intentions. Um, this has to do with a child. So you could have an air sign child or you could be having a child in March. Um, but it's a very innocent, very young energy that is surrounding you. And, um, and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness living your life this way, getting rid of all the people that just bring bullshit to your life, Aries. You've had enough the last two, three years. You have dealt with so much with it, with it being in your work, your home, your environment, just in general, and you're ready to get, to get rid of that. In love, you have the two of cups. So that earth sign is coming in in March. Um, you're emotionally happy. You, um, It's nothing too serious, but it's something that is going to um, fulfill you emotionally in the area of love. In April, you have the five of pentacles. Unfortunately, you could be um, experiencing some financial troubles in um, April. Um, good old tax season, you know. But um, yeah, you're going to um, experience a little bit of hardship when it comes to money. So it might be a good idea to um, maybe save a little now. Um, in love, you're stable. You are happy. You guys are now committed to each other. And it's with that pinnacle again. Um, so it's well-grounded. It's, uh, it's stable. And you are willing to emotionally invest in this person now. In May, you have temperance. So you're finding balance again in your life, in all areas of your life. You are healing emotionally, um, financially, in every aspect of the word healing and finding balance. You are finding it. Um, so a beautiful, beautiful energy in May for your whole life. Um, I see you are going to be moving. Aries, for a group of you, you are going to be moving and this move is going to change your life. It is going to bring you so much happiness and contentment. Um, in love, you have the seven of cups. So, um, or sorry, that was in reverse. The seven of cups in reverse. So all outside influences, all options, they're all out the window. You guys aren't even paying attention. It's just all about you guys. And um, that's how it should be. The two of you are just enjoying each other. Um, with spring here, it is going to bring you a whole new outlook in your love life. It's going to give you a renewed hope, um, because you guys have been burnt in the past and have gone through some really shitty, uh, relationships and, um, you deserve this. You deserve this happiness. Um, the, and it's, and it's here to stay for, from what I can tell for a while. In June, you have the five of swords. Um, so for a group of you, um, I'm seeing a group of you are going to be walking away from a situation that, um, is really bringing you down in as far as work and friends. So if you work with a group of friends, there's something that's going to happen, um, within your job that's going to piss you off enough that you're just going to cut them out of your life for a while. You don't need their drama. You don't need their backstabbing. Um, it's kind of like that saying with friends like you who needs enemies. That's how you're feeling in June. Um, in your love, you have the page of swords. So still just the two of you enjoying life. Um, kind of um, experiencing... How do I want to say this? You are um, exploring each other's wilder side <laughs> is a family friendly way of putting that. Um, and you guys are just enjoying each other. Uh, 
if you are the Aries female, the the male that you are partnering with or your partner, um, it could also, um, no, I'm getting for the Aries female, your male, he is just infatuated with you, um, in a, in a positive way, not like a stalker way. Um, he really looks to you for, for a lot, for emotional fulfillment, for mental stimulation, for just everything. Spirit is saying that in June, he is really realizing that he's really caught the love of his life is what I'm hearing. In July, you have the chariot. Um, you are going to move on from that job. You are leaving that job that no longer satisfies you. You are saying, see ya and not looking back. And that is a positive thing because at the end of the year, I see some surprises for you. And this is definitely the right move in July, Aries. Um, pack your bags and hit the door because they don't appreciate you there. Um, and love, you have the four of cups and that is in reverse. So neither one of you are um, taking advantage of each other. Neither one of you are um, taking for granted that the other one is there. You guys are still just spot on. Um, you're not looking on outside, you know, not looking outside the relationship. As you see them looking out, um, out the gate. But in reverse, they're not looking at anyone but each other. You guys are getting um, even more close to each other um, and, and finding more commitment. In August, you guys have the lovers in reverse. Um, and this is in your home. So um, there may be some, some arguments within the home, not within... Um, I'm not seeing it within like a husband, wife, or a boyfriend, girlfriend. I see this as an adult child that lives with you. You have to make a choice to let them move back in or to kind of let them, um, you know, let them hit rock bottom so they can kind of change. Um, they're kind of messing up and they're wanting to move back home and you're worried it's going to affect um, the children you still have in your home as well as your relationship um, with your spouse, partner, whatever. Um, and you are not making a choice in August. Spirit is saying that, um, sometimes tough love is the best love and it, it may be the best for them to make them get a job and kind of fend for themselves instead of enabling them and letting them move back home. I, by no means am I telling you what to do with your children, but that is what spirit is telling me for this group of you that will experience that in August. Um, in your love life, you have the King of Swords in reverse. So there is somebody on the outside trying to infiltrate the relationship, but I see this in reverse. I see this as the married couple or the committed couple. And this is an outside lurker. Um, that's how I see it in reverse. If it was in the upright, I would see this as the spouse and this is the affair, but I do not see that there is somebody that is interested in either you or your partner. They are going to try to cause problems, but I see the both of you shutting out whoever it is that's knocking at that door. So awesome. In September, you are victorious in, in work, in your home. Um, this is stemming from in July, your move, you moved to a new house, you got a new job, you're feeling victorious, you're feeling amazing. Um, it's like life can't get much better than this. Um, I see you starting your own company on the side. Um, this is something where you're going to offer um, like products to somebody. So you're, you found a different job from up here, but um, on the side, like in the, on the evenings or whatever, on the internet, I see you starting up your own company. And within the end of the year, this company is going to grow so big. You are, it's going to become your full-time job. In love, I have the seven of wands. So you are still, um, your love life is going great this year. I honestly do not see anything bad in your love life. Um, with the seven of wands, it's, I don't see it as like your traditional tarot card meaning with the seven of wands, I see exploring new places, exploring new things with this love, 
taking it to newer, new heights, um, knowing that this is what you want, defending this connection above and beyond all else. And, um, very, very, very sexual, very passionate. Um, yeah. Yeah. Aries, you found a good one. Um, in October, you have the judgment and it is in reverse. So, um, there, there'll be a big decision that you have to make in October. And I see it as far as with your new company, um, there's going to be some big decisions that need to be made. So spirit is just saying to take time and um, take the time to really think these choices through because they will affect the, uh, the way the company, um, the way it is successful or not. Um, I do see you making the right decision. I see you holding off and really thinking about it and it's just going to kind of work itself out. And, um, it, you are going to make the right choice. Just don't rush into any big decisions. Um, this could be with partnering up with somebody. It could be with selling off a part of it. You know, don't, don't rush into anything like that. Um, it's going to work itself out. Um, in your love life, you have the queen of wands still hot, passionate. Um, he is just allured by you. You just draw him in the female in this relationship is very, um, sexually, um, attractive and she, she's comfortable. She's comfortable in her own skin and he loves that. In November, you have these seven of wands in reverse. So you're kind of letting your guard down, um, as far as your hopes and dreams, like you are, you had your guard up telling everybody, well, this probably won't work out, but I got to try it because, or, um, I know this probably will fail, but if I don't do it, I'll never know. Well, you're finally going to let those thoughts get out of your head. You're going to let that guard down because you are successful and you know it. Money is flowing in. Um, at the beginning of the year, you kind of had a little bit of financial issues. In the middle of the year, you were miserable at a job. By the end of the year, you are making bank and just loving life. And um, it just, for you, you are finally like, Spirit saying like, you know, like that sigh, like, oh my God, I did it. I made it. You know, I don't know how long I'll be here for. I don't know how long I get to last at the top here, at the top of my game, but I did it. I built something from the bottom up and it is, it's skyrocketing. So congratulations, um, Aries. In the month of November for the love, I see um, the male in this relationship, your ex is going to try to cause problems. Um, Spirit wants me to draw another card and you're going to shut that shit right down because you guys are the 10 of cups and you ain't going to let that penetrate your guys' relationship. Um, you guys are going to stand united. You guys are going to have come at her with a united front because she is going to tell the female in this relationship that you two are still sleeping together. Um, and the female, whether you're the Aries or your significant others, the Aries, um, both of you are going to be like, yeah, whatever. See ya. In the month of December, wrapping up the year, you guys have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So you're having some more decisions that you have to make as far as your company goes. Um, and this also has to do with a move. You have, um, something to do with moving. I'm not sure if it's across town, across the country, whatever. Um, but you have some decisions and you don't have all the, uh, all the answers yet. You don't have all the facts. So don't make any quick decisions. Make sure you are in a full, um, full mindset to make, uh, decisions with a clear, um, with clear facts behind it. Um, this also has to do with possibly moving your company is what spirit just said. So, um, if it looks too good to be true, um, tread with caution, uh, check all the facts, read the small print, that sort of thing. In love, you guys have the king of wands. So he's your king. This could be you, Aries, if you are the male in this relationship. And you guys are just so successful this year as far as your love life. Um, I know this is just a certain group of you, but for this group of you, you deserve it. You guys have been through, like I said a little bit ago, you guys have been through the ringer as far as relationships go. And um, if, if any sign deserves it, 
I'd say Aries, it's you. Um, well, all the fire signs, actually. All fire signs have just had a rough year as far as love goes. But I tell you what, um, Aries, um, just or the year 2018 is going to be one for the record books. I'm telling you what, for this group of you, you are going to start up. You're going to start the year with a little bit of financial issues. You're going to leave a job you hate. By the end of the year, you are going to have a successful business and money is not an issue. You come in the year just coming out of a shitty relationship, the world, um, the circle, the cycle completed. Um, you meet a uh, earth sign, um, February by March, you guys are in a committed relationship by the middle of the year. You guys are moving into it with each other by the end of the year. You are just a united front and simply amazing. So Aries, congratulations. I am so very happy for you. Um, Yeah, spirit is saying just enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. We get so worried about tomorrow that we forget to live in the moment today. So just remember to take in everything as it's happening and let tomorrow happen tomorrow. Um, because you guys have a beautiful, beautiful path in front of you this year. And um, blessings galore. I'm not saying you're not going to have your issues. I'm not saying you're not going to have the bumps in the road. But I'm saying you are going to ease through them with grace, dignity, and beauty. So congratulations, Aries. I hope you have an amazing 2018. Thank you for all your support that you guys have showed me up to this far. I'm so honored to be able to read for you, to give you your divine messages as you're intended to hear them and help um, share your journey along the way as well. So thank you again for making 2017 great for me. And I hope 2018, um, we can enjoy the year together. So God bless you all. I send you love and light here from Indigo and I will see you next time.